Yeah. That's good. How you been? Good. How are you, Steve? I'm always good. You are good. You're yes, always good. Yes. You're looking very dapper. I'm, I'm, I'm from Texas, too. You are? Yeah. They, I could have gone that way, too. No, really. I live, I live in Plano, Texas, just outside of Dallas. Uh-huh. That's my home. So, now, do you see a lot of women walk around looking like me? Yeah, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> say something more than that. Well, it's <laughs> not, not really what I do. No? You know, I, my wife and my wife looks good in anything. But yeah. We, I don't wear denim since there's so much in Texas. I pretty much stay away from denim and bull riding. Yeah? <laughs> no, black people don't do good on bulls. No? <laughs> Cars, cars, yeah. we like cars. Right. We like cars, leaning, music, that type of thing. Right. That's yeah. what I'm into. I don't, I don't, I'm not good on bulls either. That's hard, that mechanical bull. You look good, though. You yeah. had a lot of fear in your face. Yeah. That was really <laughs> nice. yeah. Well, I look good with fear. Yeah, yeah. yeah so now, what is this new show? What, what the hell was that? The, 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 a guy in a washing machine. See, uh, Steve Harvey's big time. I created this show because uh, there are a lot of people that do some things around the country that they think deserves to be on national TV. And like, well, like that? I, I, yeah, like that. And I give him a shot to come out and we find out if that's really true or not. Now, that, he deserves to be on TV. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't know where he was at when he decided, you know what, I'm having a... I ain't got nothing else to do. I'm gonna go get in the washing machine. Yeah. <laughs> You know, that's really not where you want to be in your life, but uh, he earns a living at that now. And, and your whole, the whole show, it's not like the singers or dancers, there's, it's all weird talents. Well, I, I don't know if you call that a talent, but uh, people that have a lot of free time. <laughs> free time and not working. Yeah. Yeah, so yes, there's a lot of people. You need to be surprised, it, and they're everywhere. You know, they, they stay right next door. That's the scary part of it, you yeah. know? They, <laughs> They got a house across the street, and you don't even know it, but some dude on your street is over there putting his butt in a washing machine. Uh -huh. <laughs> and you're sending your kids over there to right, visit. Right, right. Yeah. No, it's good that you're exposing that then. I think we should know about that. You now, should. Now, who, wh wh have you had favorite guests on the show that are... Uh... I like, there was a little girl that was four years old that came on and could name every political figure in the world, every cabinet position in the White House, every governor, every prime minister, every leader of every country, and she was four. And she was my wow. favorite guest. But it was kind of twofold, because I have a six-year-old, and it, it just let me know that I was failing my child. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was just going, my boy is, is making mud pies in the backyard yeah. <laughs> in a dump truck, and there's this little genius that's turning out stuff that she did the prime minister's name of Japan. Well, you know. Even when she said it, there was no way I could check it. Yeah, you couldn't. <laughs> have no idea. I had the card and couldn't read the dude's uh -huh. name. That's amazing. That's pretty. That's pretty amazing. Yeah, somebody like that, I'd I'd like to give her time on TV, other than the guy washing himself in the machine, you know. But now your kid is six. W Winton is his name. Yeah, that's my man. And uh, and now he's, but he's probably a bright kid. He's pr you're pr proud of him. I, I I am. You know, he's a boy though. My my son is a boy, so. We're going through some things. It, we, he comes to the bathroom with me. That's his big thing now, because mm -hmm. whatever dad does, he wants to do. And so we go to the bathroom, and we, uh, you know, we, we urinate together. And it's, uh, <laughs> he likes doing it at the same time, except he forgets, and he starts talking to me. And he turns to me <laughs> while he's talking, and he just pees down the pants leg, and you're just sitting mm -hmm. there, and he's your son. You know, you want to backhand him, but yeah. he's your boy. And, right. uh, you know, you want him to be able to do things like that. He's, he's struggling with it right now. But, yeah. I believe that's what chaps are for. That's what they were originally uh, made for, because that happened in the West. Um, now, and what, what kind of music is he into? Is he into, like, some uh, some? My rapping? son's into rap, yeah. period. You know, that's what, it, what he's into, because my 18-year-old is into rap. They're just into rap. You know, I'm not... I'm, I'm Earth, Wind, and Fire, man. I don't really care for yeah. rap that much. You know, rap. I mean, it's cool, you know, I listen to it, but my son is, um, 50 Cent is his favorite rapper right now. And I'm in the house the other day, and he's singing one of his songs, you know, and, you know, I got the magic stick. I can hit it once, I can hit it twice. And I just looked at my boy, and I just said, Winton, what did you say? He said, I got the magic stick. 
I can hit it once, I can hit it twice. I said, do you know what the magic stick is? He said, not yet. <laughs> soon enough, though, soon yeah, enough. Yeah, 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 you're getting there, boy. Yeah. That's, he's on the right track. Yeah, that's, that's adorable. That's yeah. You look good. Yeah, I'm fighting. <laughs> fighting old age. Just trying not to let it come take me away. It, it looks like it is not happening. It happened yesterday. You turned 65 yesterday? 65. Yeah. Wow. Amazing. Whew. <sighs> How you feel about that? It's hard to get to 65. Uh-huh. Yeah, you know, a lot of things can happen along the way. I like, but old is the goal, though. Well, you look great. Well, thank you, you Ellen. Look you look fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. yeah this... I, uh... The body looks, I mean, you look like, and I know you posted, uh, somebody was filming you doing push-ups. Can we show that? And why they had to keep... <laughs> why they have to move the phone? How come they had to move the phone? He doesn't, uh, he doesn't work for me anymore. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, that... the push-ups are impressive. Yeah, but the video cost him his career. Uh-huh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There was no reason. I don't know what he thought that was it. You know, yeah. he said, Mr. Mr. Harvey, you want to add some excitement to your workout. Uh -huh. I'm 65, I'm doing push-ups. That's enough excitement. Exactly. You know, I didn't need you doing all this to the camera. No, so there was no just need. Just trying to stay in shape. But it's also harder because you were on weights as well. How many do you do? Well, at one time, uh -huh. I can do about 35. Wow. Yeah, I could do about yeah. 35. I mean, 65 years old doing 35 push-ups in a row? That's... For money, I could do more. <laughs> Like, if you bet me a million dollars, yeah, I tap some muscles trying to get that in. Uh-huh. <laughs> hey, but, there, there was a, a post of your whole family in matching pajamas for Christmas. Was that, whose idea was that? It was adorable. Oh, that's, all oh, that's Marjorie's idea. You know I don't think of nothing like that. Marjorie does that. Them ain't just regular pajamas. Those are Dolce Cabana uh, pajamas. When I saw the bill on that, I almost threw up. <laughs> Because I know good and hell well Target got red pajamas. Uh -huh. I know they do. Uh -huh. The sign is red and white. I know Target got red pajamas. <laughs> Why we got to be in some custom-made pajamas with our name on the back? For one picture. <laughs> one picture. Thousands of dollars. <laughs> it was... It was a good picture. Yeah. Yeah. But well, you, you got a big fancy family and you get some fancy pajamas and... Hey, was Michael B. Jordan there? I know he's dating your daughter now, so was he sharing Christmas with you? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, that's happening in front of you? I've never seen that picture before. <laughs> Very uncomfortable with that picture right there. I'm not really feeling that picture. This huh? is his second Christmas with us. Yeah? Is he a good gift giver? Hell yeah. <laughs> That's why I like him. Uh-huh. That boy come through with some... He trying to impress a family gift. Uh -huh. He don't come through. You know, I'm her father, so he bought me this big uh, 100 uh, cigar box of the most, most uh, hard-to-get cigars, 100 of them in this big box and gave that to me. He gave my wife some skis. Who do that? <laughs> Only way you give your potential mother-in-law some skis is because you want her to be your mother-in-law. Uh -huh. I don't know, man. I don't know. I, you know, I'm pulling for him because he's a really good guy, man. Comes from a good family, you know. Uh, so I'm kind of pulling for him, but at the same time, I'm just... I got my eye on him, you know. <laughs> I can't whoop him, but if he ever turn around, I'm gonna knock his ass out. <laughs> that boy be in the gym, man. Like, he yeah. comes in my gym to work out, and I be going like, woo! <laughs> I'm impressed. Yeah, I bet, I bet. I mean, he's yeah. in great shape. All right, we're back with Steve Harvey. Portia and I love watching Family Feud, and since Steve's the host, I thought it would be fun to play a couple of rounds. My producers, Andy, Mary, Matt, and Jeannie are gonna be on one team. Good answer, good yeah. answer. And then, <laughs> on my team, Twitch, Claudia, and Andy Zener will be playing with me. 
We do push-ups after every rehearsal we do here. And to make the game more interesting, the losing team has to do a combined 75 push-ups. All right? And we will post that on our Instagram, Instagram after this show. No planking, Mary. All right, very you good. Don't wow. plank, you don't plank. All right, Steve, you're the host. Take it away. All right, let's go. Welcome. Let's play Family Feud. All right, here we go, folks. We've got the top seven answers oh, on fuck. the board. Here we go. <laughs> Name a place to make love that's sexier in the movies than it is in real life. <laughs> Ellen. The shower. The shower. <laughs> Two answers top it, Andy. The kitchen uh, table. That uh, took too long. What? Yeah. <laughs> too long. We're going to play, yeah, Steve. Yeah, it took too long. We have a time limit. We're going to yeah. play. He took too okay, long. Okay, good. You, you took yeah, too long. Right. It's okay. Twitch, how you doing, man? Great, man. Doing? Give me a place to make love that's sexier in the movies than it is in real life. The closet. The closet. Good answer. What movie you been watching? <laughs> the closet. I don't know about that. <clears throat> All right. Hey, Claudia, give me a, a place to make love that's sexier in the movies than it is in real life. In the pool. In the pool. In the swimming pool. Good answer, good answer. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. 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 Good answer, you, yeah. you taking that for yeah, pool? Well, yes, <laughs> hot tub pool, it's same thing. Water. It's body water. I know people who have hot tubs who don't have pools, but keep going. Well, well, well it's not my game, so. Zener. Uh, <laughs> Zener. It's my last name. There's another Andy, so it's confusing. <laughs> what, what's the answer? Hey, look, don't have me play the game if you ain't gonna put real names on these things, <laughs> okay? <laughs> Name a place to make love to sex you in the movies than it is in real life. In a car, Steve. In a yeah. car! Good answer. Good answer. All right, what's another one? Thank you. In the car! Yeah. 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 Ellen, we got four answers left. Give me a place to make love to sex you in the movies than it is in real life. On the beach in the sand. On yeah. the yeah. beach yeah. in the sand. Yeah. A lot of damage get done with that sand, folks. Don't try it at home. In the sand, <laughs> small pebbles and grit. <laughs> yeah. Twitch, name a place to make love to sex in the movies than it is in real life. On an airplane, Steve. On an airplane. Yeah. Yeah. Good answer, Twitch. Guys are rolling. Claudia, only two answers left. Name a place to make love to sex in the movies than it is in real life. On a kitchen table. On the kitchen yes. table. Yes. Claudia's telling on herself, kitchen table. Oh, boy. Sir, whatever your name is. <laughs> That'll work. We've got one answer left. Name a place to make love that's sexier in the movies than it is in real life. Motorcycle? Yeah, good answer. Good answer. Come on, you got That's a horrible answer. Thank you. That's a horrible answer. What does he do on the show? Not sure. Not sure? <laughs> she said not sure. <laughs> on a motorcycle! <laughs> Ellen, you've got two strikes. You gotta be careful. Andy's team can steal. Name a place to make love that's sexier in the movies than it is in real life. Who better to have this moment on than the star of the show? No, it's not. No. no, no. Who loves no, it. watching it. Family Feud? She said her and Portia watch it all the time. I, yeah, we do. And this is a horrible place to be in. All right. Name a place to make love that's sexier in the movies. An elevator. An elevator! <laughs> Got a chance to steal. You've been. They decided to just now talk it over. Here we go. That's when people. That's right, Steve Harvey. Yeah, none of these people watch Yell Damn. We watch. Name a place to make love that's sexier in the movies than it is in real life. Um. In the office. <laughs> I like it. In the office. 
for the steal. Let's look at the revealing answers. Number six. Public art. Uh, we'll be back for Family Feud after this. Hey, we're gonna play more Family Feud when we come back right after this. Don't go away. Name a specific exercise you might be self-conscious about doing at a nudist gym. Squat, Steve. Squat. Good answer, Good answer. Yes. Good answer. yes. Squat. Up on a mountain. Search through the valley. Search through the valley. Can you hear me calling? Welcome back, everybody, to the world-famous Ellen DeGeneres Show. I'm Steve Harvey. That's Ellen. And we're playing an epic game of Family Feud right here. The score leads. Ellen's team is leading with 86 points. Andy's team not on the board. Uh, let's go. Our next contestants are Twitch and Mary. Yep. There yep. we go. Yep. A, lot of, a lot of cheering for us. Yep. Here we go. The point values are double. We've got the top six answers on the board. Okay. Here we go. Name a specific exercise you might be self-conscious about doing at a nudist gym. <laughs> Twitch. Jumping jacks. Yeah. Jumping yeah. jacks. Good answer. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Pass or play? We're gonna play. Oh, we're gonna play. We're gonna, we're gonna play. play. Hey, Claudia, give me an exercise you'd be self-conscious about doing at a nudist gym. Sit-ups. Sit-ups. Good answer, good answer. Here we go, sir. <laughs> Name a specific ex exercise you might be self-conscious about doing at the nudist gym. Jump rope. Jump rope. Yeah. yeah. Come on, good answer. OK. <laughs> you're not, you're not, you're not doing real well. Nope. <laughs> He had car, though. It's okay, but hey. I got car earlier. Got, yeah. It's okay. Well, you got car earlier. Yep. It's a new round. All right. Okay. <laughs> Name a specific exercise you might be self-conscious about doing at a nudist gym. Squat, Steve. Squat. Good answer, Good answer. Yes. Good answer. yes. Squat. Yeah! Hey, Twitch, give me an exercise you might be self-conscious about doing at a nudist gym. A bench press, Steve. <laughs> bench press! <laughs> Oh! Oh, we got two strikes. We got to be on, careful, Claudia. Claudia. Gotta... Team Andy can steal. Name a specific exercise you'd be self-conscious about doing at a nudist gym. Running. Running! Good answer. Good answer. All right, here we go. You got a chance to steal. Andy, you all have got to <laughs> yeah, steal so this so one funny, or it just looks flat out bad. Andy, your chance to steal. Give me a specific exercise. You'd be self-conscious doing at a nudist gym. Push-ups, Harvey. Push-ups! Harvey. Push-ups! Oh, look at our score! Look at our score! Double points, double money! Double points, double money. Let's take a look at the remaining answers. Number five. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I like that. Wait. Number three. We did. Oh! Yeah. oh. Got uh, All right. Team Andy wins, which means you can catch Team Ellen push-ups on Instagram, and you can catch Steve weekdays on can, Family Feud. Check did you say we won? Yes. Did you say we won? I did not hear it. I, Andy's team won! Yes. <laughs> Ellen's going to be doing push-ups on Instagram. Yeah. And Judge Steve Harvey, we'll be back.